What's up guys and welcome back to another episode here on the All Sports Best YouTube channel. I'm here with Steve Cummings once again and today we are going to break down the highly anticipated collection, largest collection of Trevor Rogers cards. So uh, Steve, if you can tell me a little bit about how you got started on this uh, collection, when you started on the collection, and how it's gotten to this point, I'll start showing cards. All right. <clears throat> well, I started uh, about a year ago. I, I stumbled across a, a few cards at an auction, and, and then I just didn't realize that Trevor had his own card, so I started looking into it. And then I started seeing stuff on, on, on eBay and, and different breaks, so I just started you know, buying up different cool cards that I thought were cool. Um, and then it's just, you know, over the last probably nine months primarily, um, just started looking for more and more and started to collect cards that I thought were just really cool or meaningful. And yeah, you know, there's so many out there and just love seeing ones with, you know, him, him on the, on the card and especially autos and numbers. Yeah, there's so many different kinds, and right now what I'm showing you is a lot of uh, the base cards Steve's been able to collect, um, whether it's Bowman, um, Panini, Mosaic. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really cool ones just at the base level, and some of these already have values, right? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, so depending on, on what, you know, Panini has, they, they put a lot out. You know, they have the Mosaic, they have the um, they have Elite Series, they have s several different, you know, series they put out than the absolute um, so there's a lot of different options and they usually you know the prices follow those those graded classes of different types of cards this one right here is a really cool one a bowman platinum it's got all the different colors almost a tie-dye um design to it and it's called the prismatic prodigy now this one's pretty cool because it says it talks about his high school and i was actually arguing with somebody about this just the other day it says rogers fired three no hitters as a senior in high school Finishing with an 11-0 record and a .33 ERA, uh, topping out at 97 uh, in high school. Now, Steve, you've been here in Carlsbad for some time. i got to know, how many no-hitters do you think have been thrown in caveman history? Give or take. In history? I, I would say maybe one every year or two, so I would guess maybe 30 or 40 at the most. Okay. Yeah, and see, my, my guess was, okay, maybe 25 total... Um, no hitters, and Trevor has four of them, or three of them. It's crazy. So That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So you can see here that he, we now start diving into the collection of signed cards. Some of these are the exact same card, and this is something that you can know about um, some of the ones that you might be looking to collect, is they are the same card, but they just have a little bit more space at the bottom for an auto. And if they are signed and they're on card in the pack, that means that they were witnessed and they're official. Right. And usually it says on the back if, if it's put out by the card company, they'll, they'll verify that it's an authentic signature. And right. Know, yes. I, I, learned, I learned a lot about just the card, you know, because even the base cards can have different color variations. And, and depending on what color it is, even if it's not numbered, makes it um, a little bit more of a short print. Absolutely. So these are just really cool. And this one uh, is really neat because he's actually throwing a pitch and it's swung on by Ronald Acuna Jr., a very popular player himself. So, I mean, you know, it's not just, hey, Trevor made big leagues. He's playing against big leaguers that everybody knows and he's being successful. And that's super cool. So this is the collection, by the way, guys. You saw some of the, you saw one of each is what you saw when I was uh, running through that. That those are all the base cards. Now we get into the amazing collection of variants, numbered cards, uh, different colors, all of the above. And this one's really cool because it is a uh, of fifty, and uh, it's a just a Bowman different one that I've never seen before. So right. some of these are just really unique that you might not ever be able to buy ever anymore. Yeah. If you search for them, you can kind of dig them out of different places and, you know, looking on eBay is, is usually the best place. And honestly, I think his cards are a little undervalued right now. I think once the season gets going and they're back out playing and people see him, I think they're going to go up in value. Absolutely. We actually got a chance to watch just uh, last night when we record this, of course, um, Nolan Perry threw a no-hitter. So a little spotlight on the young um, arm here in Carlsbad and it's really cool to see the legacy continue 
uh, just year after year here in Carlsbad. Well, and you know, kind of what we were talking about, you know, and seeing three major league players there at the game was was pretty exciting too. Absolutely, it really you know, was. One, one active and, and two former MLB players. Pr- draft very picks, cool yeah. to see them there. Exactly, and two of those guys first rounders, right? Trevor Rogers and Shane Andrews, both first rounders, which is crazy. So uh, these are really cool, and I love to see them in the uh, red uniforms. Would you say these are the best uniforms th- that Miami has, or what? What are your favorite? I, I I think so. I mean, some of the, some of the blue colored uniforms I do like, especially with the color variation. But the offset of the lettering on those red uniforms is is pretty sweet. Yes, it really is. So the ones that I'm showing you guys now are. Um, some of them look the exact same, and that's what's really cool about card collecting is it's like, I have the card you have, but there's just a little bit different with numbers and, like you said, different colors and stuff like that. Right here we've got a an auto or a, a relic, and this is highly sought after because it's always officially player-worn. It's either play, player-worn or player-used, so depending on what the card says, it may be, you know, something that was a practice piece or, or something like that it may not actually be a game piece but some say that they are so that, that makes it very cool i guess the all-star game because i actually have collected one of trevor's all-star um ga- uh, it says event worn and that's actually how they get around it apparently they don't always wear it in the game it's at the event so you right. just are literally there for um you know they put it on in the locker room they take it off and officially they put it on so right. I think that's actually pretty cool. It's a cool loophole. The only reason, because of course you want the thing that they wore, right. uh, the only reason I think it's cool is because they're not lying to you. Right. Yeah, and I think some of those are like from the All-Star Game and from, from various events. Um, so it's pretty cool to know just that they had it on, but also where it might have been worn. All right, so I'm going to go through these ones a little bit quicker. We're going to go into Steve's top 10 um, Trevor Rogers cards. But some of these are really cool. This one is a different material with baseball. Um, We've got a lot of really cool colorways that you just sometimes won't be able to come by. Um, You know, at times you will catch some cards on eBay and stuff, but a lot of times you're not going to get a huge variety. But it's crazy to me that there's still cards out there that are from players that a lot of people don't know of. Well, you know, there are so many players in, in the major leagues, especially, you know, the, the draft picks, and they're, you know, somewhere in the minor leagues, and they, they make cards of them, and, you know, some develop and some don't. Exactly, yeah, and I mean, that's what it all comes down to is cards are like stocks. I mean, that's really what it becomes. Um, when you buy a card, a Trevor Rogers first Bowman, when you buy a, a, a numbered card of a kid that just got picked up out of high school, it's a gamble, it really is. So I've actually had people say like, oh, you're gambling. And I've had other people saying, oh, you're investing. And, and honestly, neither of them are wrong. No, neither of them are wrong. I think, you know, I think it, you know, if, if you buy actual cards and you buy them at a value, you know, it's, it, it's investing. It may go up or it may go down. Yeah. Um, but, you know, prices vary so much based on what's going on in the world, how they're playing, how their team does, if they get into the playoffs or the World Series. And then if they win it, then, of course, that's even better. That's Yeah, that, there goes your values right there. Okay, so now we're going to dive into Steve's top 10 cards of Trevor's. This one is when he pitched for the Grasshoppers. This one's really neat because I like the colorway and the mascot's really awesome for the minor leagues. Minor league has the best mascots, I think. They do. I I, I looked up the the craziest names of mascots and I was amazed at some of of the (laughs) names that are on there. You know, even to get down with the mud hens and, you know, things like that. They're awful kind of of mascots and it's, it's pretty amazing. So this one here is a 35 of 75. Uh, a high school edition. This one's really neat. You can see the caveman uh, uniform on there. Why is this one special to you? Well, I think that's it's special because it's in his caveman uniform, and you know that was I think probably the, one of the first pictures they took and put on cards before uh, they developed the others before it got into the either the minors or the you know the the major leagues, of course. So it's yeah. very cool, and, and that yeah, one has cool. the color match, you know, of the blue. Which made, made it also really cool. Yeah, and this next one is uh, another one in your top 10. It's the same picture, but like we talked about before, different colorway. Uh, this one is signed. It's out of 100, so it's a little less rare, but it's signed. So to me, this one might be better. Yeah. What do you think? 
Well, I, I think it probably is. I think with, with the auto, for sure, that makes it makes it better. So this next one is a really cool one because this one's unique. It is a transparent one, and this one's called the uh, Clear Edition. It's by Leaf, and you can see right through it, right? And uh, this one's neat just because you don't see these all the time. No, you don't. And yeah, they're called acetate cards, and so they're, they're very cool. And I think most of the manufacturers produce them. And they're they're really very cool. I've, I've heard people say they're hard to get high grades on, which oh. I, I don't know why that is exactly, but maybe um, it's easier to see scratches and defects. Could be, could be very well. All right, so this is the next one. This one is a Bowman's Best, and it's a big area for a signature. So these ones are very very clearly uh, made for uh, a signed card. And on the back, like I talked about, it'll tell you that it is official. Right, and that one is. If, if you look online, that's got some pretty good value, so that's a pretty popular card, I think, because it's a Bowman and because it's a gold card and numbered with, with an auto, it's, it's a pretty good card. This one is 11 of 50. It's pretty sweet. All right, this next one's pretty cool. This one comes uh, uh, with a gold signature, and it is from, let's see, this one is from Absolute Baseball, and I just think this card's really cool. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I think that's numbered to 10. Um, and it, I think it's leather, maybe a, a glove or something that they you know, took a piece of leather from and had them signed. So it's very cool. So it says number three of ten, if you can see that right there. That is super cool. And of course, the more exclusive, the more people want it. Right. So this next one here is an absolute as well. And all of these are rookie, by the way. And this one comes with a button on it, which before I, you had showed me this collection, I've never seen a button as the relic, to be honest with you. I just thought it was so cool because it had the button as part of the tag, you know, so it's just a very unique part of, of I'm guessing probably pants that they wore, but I don't know. Yeah, it sure. could be. So, and this one is actually of 10 as well. This one is a two of 10. You can see that right there. And sometimes it's so hard to see that, that you might overlook it when you open a pack. Yeah. And uh, so that's what makes it unique also. This one is six of 25, and this is a clearly authentic. This actually comes like this, you said. It, it comes like that, and I, I really love those cards. It, it's clear acetate like the other one was, but the quality of the card, it comes prepackaged in that protective case. So it's, it's already encased in there and, and protected, and it's really just a beautiful card. This is. This one so far is my favorite one just because I think it's really cool. You can see through it. It's unique and it's already prepackaged, so it's perfect. It is. Okay, the Draft Night Edition. This is a Bowman Chrome. It's signed. It's got. It's just really cool. And this one is a on card as well. So we talked about this actually in the last uh, episode. Right. That just that the fact that they held it in their hand is really impressive to you. It's impressive to me. And this one probably was one of the first ones that he signed as a official Major League draft pick. I think so, and that one is, is probably my favorite card. I think it's numbered to 50, but it's a gold card and it's of, of the draft night, and those are really hard to come by. 31 of 50, 31 of 50. And let's see, second to last here is a Future Stars by Leaf. This one is numbered to seven, so very exclusive, the most exclusive we've had today. Right. It's a very cool card. I'm sure Leap comes out very early with their cards, and so that was probably an early card that he signed as well. Uh, but being number to seven, it's it's very cool to have. And the final one, the number one, is a printing plate. This one's sweet, and when you run into a printing plate, they're always one of one, right? Right. So so that's a one of one, and that's actually the print printing plate for the card we looked at just before that. So it's card. It's cool to have the card that they produce from it. The actual printing plate that they made it from with his autograph on it and it's one one it's gorgeous and what's cool about it is he actually uh probably hasn't even seen this himself this is a sticker auto so there's a chance that he's never seen this so trevor if you're watching check out this one of one that maybe is you know even new to you this is awesome steve thank you so much for sitting down with me today and and showing us the biggest trevor rogers collection out there well, I'm, I'm willing it. to say that. I'm willing to say that. <laughs> well, I, I don't know who else has a collection out there, but I don't know of anyone that has a bigger one. So we'll just leave it at that. And, you know, it's always so great to see Trevor on cards and, you know, a, a hometown, you know, 
prospect that has done extremely well and has a great future ahead of him. Absolutely. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We hope you enjoyed, and uh, tune in next time.